Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a year in 100 acre woods, a year in tails, what's the difference, what are the similarities, and do I need to do one or the other? All right, y'all. I am so glad you're here. I'm Tasha. This is Tasha Pivots. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. This is all about mamahood and homeschool and how I'm pivoting through this journey. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this or just be a part of the fam, please hit that red subscribe button. I'd love to have you with me each week. Uh, so yes, I've been getting a lot of questions um, from emails to messages and all the things about what is the difference of the two curriculums? Do I need to do one over the other? What are the similarities? And so I wanted to just come on and compile all those questions and try to answer them as best as I can. So shall we get started? I think so. So with this, I uh, want to start with the similarities, okay? The first similarity that I've noticed is foundations. The foundation of this curriculum is very much the same. What do I mean by that? You can tell that this was written by the same person. Uh, you can tell that it has the same heartbeat, the same intentionality, all the details. You can tell that it's from the same heart of uh, Lisa, who's the founder of Wilkinest and the creator of both these curriculums, the Year in Tales and the Year in Hundred Acre Woods. So that is a humbling and wonderful, and I love that about this, that we can tell that it's from the same. The second thing that you're going to notice um, is in Foundations, is that the map out and everything is the same. You're getting a parent guide, you're getting a student notebook, and then you are also getting some art. Uh, and so I noticed that those are all the same and flowing the same way. Uh, even in the parent note and, and the invitation, the map out for each week, um, and the details of all that are very much the same. Third, when I say again, we're still in the foundations is that you can tell that it's from two different um, books of literature and we're taking these two pieces of literature and breaking it down into 30 to 36 weeks for you and your child to really engage and learn and grow. So I love that about this. Those are my fa fundamental foundations that are similar. What are the differences? So I found three differences so far in A Year in 100 Acre Woods and A Year in Tells. So I'm going to just dive into those for you real quick. The first one that I've noticed um, when I'm taking out my parent guide, this is the parent guide for my Year in Tells. Um, and I have the whole thing. It's super thick. I put it in this folder. And then I have the complete parent guide for the first five weeks for the Year in 100 Acre Woods. So what is the difference of the two? Um, I noticed when you first open and go to map out that there is a complete section each week. So first you're going to get your week. This is like week two, right? Um, so this is going to give you your map out for the week. This is what we're used to getting, right? But then I noticed that on a year in 100 acre woods, you're getting this second page where it's telling you upper elementary additional learning. Okay, so that's what you're getting in a year in tells, or a year in 100 acre woods. That is not in a year in tells, okay? And a year in tells, what you're getting is, um, you're getting some um, notations in the second pages to come. After you have your map out, you have your each day. It might give you a note here where it'll say, you know, if you have an older child and you think that they're developed enough or ready to go ahead and uh, be encouraged and in inviting them to go ahead and take their vocabulary words and find the definitions themselves instead of you doing it. Um, it'll be like things like that. Uh, and maybe just like, Oh, if you have an uh, uh, older child and you want them to do the copy work and maybe do some more scripture reading and like go ahead in the Bible time, pull out your Bible and let them read and find it in their Bible. That is in there. But when it comes to it having like a full page, mm -mm, that's not in year and tells. That's only in a year, not year and 100 acre woods. So if you're having a child that's around second and third grade and you've decided this is something that you want to do with your child, I love that in this um extracurriculum in the year of 100 acre woods there is a whole section so you're going to get some um reading extra reading and literature you're going to have them do maybe some reporting and biography writing practicing their writing skills you may also have them doing some typing skills uh maybe putting them in front of a computer and practicing their typing or taking a sentence and copying it onto a, um, a typewriter uh, or on it uh, on the computer so 
that I think was really cool because like my daughter's in second grade and she is advanced in this literature and, and language arts. And so that gives her an opportunity to practice some writing skills, especially because I'm a little bit more traditional. I don't let my children have a lot of um, screen time. They aren't reading books on tablets or doing assignments on tablets. A lot of theirs is very tangible writing paper and books and reading books in their hands, okay? So I noticed that second that I noticed that is the difference is the science and nature aspect. There is a really well thought out part to this science and nature um, in a year in a hundred acre woods to the year uh, tells. Year and tells, there is always a science and nature area. There always will be some two or three books for you to check out for resources or um, on the subject or animal that you may be talking about in the book. Um, if it's a rabbit or a hedgehog or things like that, but it wasn't, um, it wasn't, uh, there wasn't more work and in, uh, intentionality grown into that. It was more up to you. It's it's a gentle approach to it, okay? So if you have a child that maybe, um, it's just really a learning and understanding just to be sitting and listening to a story, read aloud and things like that. Year and Tells is a lot more gentler. Um, I noticed with A Year and 100 Acre Woods, it has a little bit more developed in that science and nature area. There's STEM projects for each week. Uh, there is B reports. I'm saying B reports because it's the first First thing comes to mind but it's for each week whatever animal you're covering you're doing full anatomy pages let me show you just so we can be clear so you guys can see what I'm seeing so like for week three we're doing the anatomy of a um, at least weasel you're getting like a full diagram of that animal on one page and then you're having your child find each part of that animal for themselves um, there is diagrams where you're talking about the difference of a rabbit from a hare and, and what are the similarities and what are the differences. All of these are extra sheets that are within this curriculum, A Year in 100 Acre Woods, that is not in the year and tells. So I noticed that. And so if you have a child that loves science, loves technology, loves learning and exploring and understanding all the developmental parts of an animal, you may be leaning towards A Year in 100 Acre Woods. Um, and that is really cool that you can have those in this curriculum. I also noticed number three, one of the biggest differences that I noticed in this curriculum is the spelling. Yes, spelling. I noticed in a year in tells, one thing that there was each week was a a sheet of spelling words and spelling for and then doing copy work for their spelling. And each week you would get eight or 10 words, maybe more, depending on if, if it was one of those weeks that could be carried out for two. Um, and they would get spelling words and it would teach them maybe their sight words, their vowels, pronouncing um, each word, hearing the sounds of a long E or A or E um, or O. And uh, I noticed that in the year in 100 Acre Woods, that's not in this, at least not in the five weeks. I don't know if it's in the rest of the curriculum that's coming, but in the first five weeks, there was no spelling words. There is just vocabulary words and the vocabulary copy work. And so it made me a little sad. I love doing spelling words with my daughter. Excuse me. She really enjoyed it. She really enjoyed um being able to read them, write them, and then use them in a sentence. Um, and so if you have a child that's still learning how to um, hear the sounds of each letter, maybe learning sight words and um, learning their vowels, then a year in tells may be a little bit better for your kindergarten first graders who are learning still developing their reading skills and writing skills. That is really great um, in a year in tells. Whereas in a year in 100 acre woods, you probably still could do it, but you would have to actually pull out the words you would have to say, okay, these are going to be your words that we're going to practice spelling. Or if you have more of an advanced kid um, that is maybe in third grade doing this program, you could even um, maybe challenge them to do the words that they have for vocabulary as their spelling words. Just an option. But I noticed those were, those were my three differences, guys. Other than that, everything else in this curriculum is very much the same. I'm truly enjoying it. Still love both curriculums and I'm pretty sure that maybe we'll even cycle them back around in a couple of years because um, I'm still in that sweet spot with my daughter that we could probably do that. Uh, but I hope I answered all your questions. If you have any more, please leave them in the comments below. Give this video a warm thumbs up. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.